What is up YouTube Sayyid here today I'll be showing you as how to root your Samsung Galaxy S uh, AT&T version, uh, Verizon version and Sprint version so this uh, uh, routing stuff works on all the three versions so the first thing you need to do is uh, first thing you need to do is you have to install the PDA uh, net drivers that uh, you can search it on Google it's a freeware version you can download it from there and after installing the PDA drivers just plug in your phone and all the files will be just uh, downloaded automatically uh, and after downloading it you will be seeing your uh, Samsung Galaxy S connected to the computer or laptop so this process works only for a PC it's not available for Mac so the, the other thing you need to do is just go into your settings and uh, go into your develop developers option and uh, switch on US debugging first we have to remove the cable and just switch on the USB debugging and then again connect the device as you will be seeing the drivers will be again installing itself so so after the drivers installation what you need to do is I'll be providing the file in the description related with the root file so you have to go into the root file and you have to copy the team epic uh, root from recovery just right click on it and uh, copy it to where you want to copy it for instance copy it on your phone and just right click on it and paste it as you'll be seeing the file has been copied here and after this has been done you have to download Odin that is also uh, available for free uh, so after downloading or uh, after just copying this uh, file into your uh, mm -hmm. phone directory what you need to do is just switch off your phone the phone will be switched off so after the phone has been switched off what you need to do is uh, you have to go into the download mode for going into a download mode you have to press the volume down button uh, the power button and the home button simultaneously so as you can see here now that your phone is in download mode you have to press the volume up button to continue as you will be seeing in our android here so you have to again uh, launch Odin here so you have to launch Odin and as you'll be uh, yes, launch Odin then as you'll be seeing here uh, the status of your connected device will be displayed now what you need to do is uncheck the auto reboot and uh, F reset and click on PDA as as you can see I have installed the uh, tar that I'll be providing in the description so what you need to do is just uh, click on PDA and uh, navigate where you have installed uh, as you can see I have installed it on root directory so just click on PDA and navigate to the root that as you can see and check this one CW uh, M recovery LTE so just open it and uh, remember to uncheck the F reset time and auto reboot so just click on start and all the process will be uh, initiated as you can see and this will be done so as you can see the pass has been done now what you need to do is uh, un un uh, unplug your phone so as you can see the pass has been uh, initiated now what you need to do is uncheck unplug your uh, device and uh, remove your battery you have to remove your battery just to hold on it for five seconds then again uh, keep your battery inside now this time what you need to do is you have to go into the recovery mode so for going into the recovery mode you have to press the volume up button the power button and the home button simultaneously so So as you can see you are in the recovery mode now what you need to do is uh, uh, click on install zip from SD card and tube zip from SD, SD card 
and uh, uh, where you have stored uh, copied the file choose zip from internal sd and as you can see uh, i have uh, the here copied the team epic root from recovery and go into it and cl uh, click on your power button and click on install as you'll be seeing the required file will be installed as you will be indicated here install from sd card is completed after doing this just go back and uh, reboot your device so i'll be getting back to you guys when this device has been rebooted so as you can see the phone has been uh, on, on into your os so i'll be showing that this has been rooted as you can see the super user has been onto your application folder and just launch it and voila your phone has been rooted now i'll be presenting to you a video tutorial also as how to install jelly bean on your at&t device so please do hit the like button subscribe and if you have any problems or any questions you can just ask me on the comment section so hope you guys like my video find me helpful peace